Hey, shalom, shalom. All right, nice, beautiful day. Set up right here. All right, a little hot today, so I had to get in the shade. But uh, without further ado, I want to give all praises, going honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushua, Bashem, Rakakadash. The bonds to apostles and elders a great most on much respect to you brothers out there that's preaching this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Standing tall, standing boldly for the name of Yahweh from outside, which is the tabernacle of David as well. Um, the speckled bird, scattered abroad. A speckled bird being our people that look like unto the heathen, but their lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and Romans 8, 16, okay? The spirits bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of power, okay? So like I said, it's a nice, beautiful day, a little hot, but um, hey, where it says uh, preach the word, you know, be instant in season and out of season. So, you know, if you're out with shine, all right, our Lord can uh, sacrifice his uh, uh, life, all right, sacrifice his very life for the elect, first and foremost, for the elect. Because he prayed for the elect and not for everybody else. Alright. He sacrificed his life. Hey, we can come out here in the heat. When it's cold, when it's raining. You know, no questions asked. Okay. And uh, just glad. I mean, just be glad that the Lord, you know, woke you up. You know, woke up your spirit to, to come out here and prophesy. Or if you're not a, a person that's called to preach, you know, you're still doing the will of the Heavenly Father by doing that which is pleasing unto him, but not like all these uh, other dudes, okay? First, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the, um, one second, let me get um, 2 Timothy 4 and 2, okay? 2 Timothy 4 and 2, preach the word, be instant in season and out of season, okay? Instant in season and out of season. All right, like right now, today is, is super, super hard, hot over here, man. And uh, lately, you know, since I'm by the water, it's it's kind of cooler, but hey, it, it's still super, super hot out here. Okay? Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Okay? Because Jake, hey, hey, Jake is out here, man. You know? You know, uh, uh, Jake is always out. So that's why it's imperative, you know. Hey, to always go out here and preach his word because Jake is always out here, man. You know, it's a nice, beautiful day. Hey, best believe Jake is going to be out here, you know. So so that's all it is. But um, you got these other dudes in Israel that want that fame and, and glory. You know, I, I was watching a video the other day. And uh, you had this brother coming out and, and preaching in the riots, Okay. Not the one that I posted up, uh, uh, what, about a week ago or so, but um, brother was out there preaching in the in, in the riots, man, you know, and, and our people that's out there in the riots, man, they, they're not even in the uh, right mindset to even get the truth, because the brother was bringing out the truth, and it was like, uh -huh, and you can tell, you can tell on his uh, face that, uh, he, he wasn't hearing all that, man. You can tell on his face that he wasn't hearing that. He, he didn't care about that, man. And, um, you know, it, it looks like it's something nice to the other Israelites, Israelite groups. Like it's something nice to just go out there and uh, preach this word. But it's not, man. It's, it's not profitable. Because those people ain't in their right mindset to come out there and preach the word. Okay? So that's why you set up camp right here or wherever, and uh, preach the word. You know, if you got to move to a different spot, you got to move to a different spot. Like me, for example, I used to preach downtown. And now downtown is a, a prime place for the uh, rioters. The Lord had the uh, spirit, the Lord put the spirit upon me to come out here and, and preach at the waterfront, okay? It's a, it's a lot less uh, chaos for right now until it gets a little later in the day. I believe because um, a little later in the day, because, uh, you know, yeah, 
you know, you got to you gotta work with it. You know, I got to come out here a little earlier so I won't get caught up uh, in the traffic and all that mess. So, you know, uh, it just goes to show you, you know, this man Esau Edom, his kingdom is falling down and, and we can clearly see it, okay? The city of confusion is being broken down as we speak. You know, I can remember uh, preaching downtown and, um, you know, saying that this place, uh, uh, you know, downtown where I was at, you know, this, this place is going to be destroyed, you know? You know, broken windows. Yeah, now, now you look at it, it's got broken windows, you know, it's looking like a mess down there. You know, people got to constantly keep on uh, cleaning up. You know, that's a form of spiritual power, you know. When the prophets come out here and prophesy, we pretty much saying, you know, we, we're the Lord's mouth, Lord willing. We're of those men that make it into the end. We're of the Lord's mouth, okay? We're the Lord's mouthpiece, and we say what the Lord wants us to say. And, you know, Lord and behold, you know, it happens. It's a mess down there, man. You know, uh, I was actually walking over here and um, you probably can't see it, but uh, a statue back there of Abraham Lincoln. I was thinking uh, 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 people was going to try to tear that down. <laughs> you know, you had a whole group, whole group back there. But it is what it is, man. You know, you see, you see all the, um, you see all the uh, uh, statues that are being broken down. Uh, around the world, you know, that's that's uh, showing and showing clearly that this place is being broken down. This man's kingdom is being broken down, and, and it's beautiful, man. It's very beautiful. Okay, so that's why you know we we stand in this truth, all right? So I believe I was watching Apostle uh, uh, Tahar's video, and um. Get the brother's name. Well, the dude's name. I'm just say that. Um, crap. But he said um, one of the dudes is uh, in Islam now, and it just goes to show you that he wasn't rooting in the truth. Okay. Here, here it is, man. You see uh, uh, what the Lord is doing. You seeing that the Lord is breaking down these strongholds. Our people's waking up to the truth, and you run to Islam. <laughs> What in the world, man? Hey, man, that's that's why the word says uh, uh, you got to endure to the end, you know? Matter of fact, let's get that. Okay, you got, you got to endure to the end. The Lord is not going to give you the kingdom of heaven just because, man. You you got you to gotta work for it. You got to earn it, man. You know, this, this thing that we're in, you know, it's, it's a test. All right, it's the test of your resolve. Do you truly, truly believe in the Lord? Or are you going to uh, uh, fall out at the last minute? Hey, because uh, uh, you've been in this truth, you're going outside preaching the word, and then you turn and you run to Islam, man. Hey, that's, a, that's, a, that's scary, man. That's why knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, okay? Because the Lord can, can have you out here preaching the word, thinking that you're a prophet, thinking that you're doing something, and then boom, he put that spirit on you, and um, and boom, he put that spirit on you, and um, you're not out here preaching anymore, man. And so that's that's a, and that's a scary thing, man. That is, that is a scary thing, okay? That's why we come out here with great boldness, preach his word, and, and pray, okay? And pray that the Lord keeps that spirit upon us and that we endure to the end, okay? So I'm going to get in Matthew 24, uh, start at verse 6. And ye shall hear, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Because 2020 started off with a bang, you know, been saying it, you know. Started off with a bang and uh, it, it keeps, and it keeps going. And that's all praises to Yahweh Bashim Al-Saw for that, man. You know, here it is, you know, 2020 starting off with the bang and, and prophecies are rolling. And the dude runs to Islam, man. Scary, man. 
for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines pestilence earthquakes in diverse places and we clearly see in it i believe i saw a post about uh, about uh, uh yellowstone how uh you know yellowstone is pretty much built around the volcano okay that's pretty much a volcano over there and you was feeling some uh, um over in that area there was some uh, earthquakes man Hey, the Lord is showing his power. The Lord is... <laughs> hey, this place, Babylon the Great, which is a golden cup in the Lord's eye. Hey, this place is going to be taken out, man. It's going to be taken out. All right? Ultimately, by the nuclear missiles. But you see these riots. Okay? You see the uh, people tearing down the statues and, and the Edomites getting mad about that, man. You see that? And, and verse 7 goes, goes right with this, man. For nation shall rise against nation. All right, even though Esau and Jacob were both brothers, okay, they were two different nations, two different nations in thy womb, okay? Two different nations, and these two nations are clashing against each other, okay? Ultimately, that's, that's what's going to happen. These two nations are going to really, really clash against each other. Now, you do have... Uh, uh, Edom versus Edom, the Egyptian versus the Egyptian in these last days. We can clearly see that. Um, let me go ahead and get that. That's in Isaiah 19, but I'm going to get um, Mark 3 and 25. Okay, because we can clearly see that these people are against each other, you know. If Edom was smart, he would be standing up. <laughs> with his uh, uh, other brethren, man. But no, us coming out here preaching the word, us rising up and coming back into our uh, uh, heritage is putting the curses on the other Edomite brothers and all these other nations, okay? So now you see these Edomites versus Edomites, man. All right? You can clearly see that when you're going out there to the riots, it's like you. If you're in this truth, all right, you, you are not supposed to go out there to the riots, okay? It's not wise, it's not smart. But when you watch the riots, that's what I meant to say. When you watch the riots, all right, are people going out there, you see Edom out there, you know, with Jacob. All right, hand joining hand. But just because you holding hands with each other doesn't mean that this man Esau, Edom, he, he ain't going to get it. All right, the Lord is just using them. Okay, because uh, uh, I believe when you read in Job 20, okay, they, they um, I'm going to have to get it instead of butchering it. But in Job 20, you know, they come into uh, uh, please the poor or something like that. You know, they're complaining about an unholy father. I, I have to get it, but it's in Job 20. But uh, Mark 3 and 25, and if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And we can clearly see that. Okay? You have uh, um, that quote written right behind me on that statue of Abraham Lincoln right behind me. All right? This house cannot stand, all right? This this kingdom that we're seeing right before our eyes is, is not standing. On a side note, you know, these elites is laughing at you, man. <laughs> I saw a, 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 a post, how they put Black Lives Matter on a, a, a street sign or something like that. You know, Black Lives Matter Boulevard or something like that, man. You ain't black, you ain't black, all right? Shirt's black. My my headband is black. All right, and it just goes to show you the trick bag that the Lord has our our people in, man. But uh, Mark three and twenty five, and if a house, and if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. All right, and we're clearly seeing that in these last days, this house cannot stand. It's being broken up. You know, another side note. Um, it says Esau Edom's kingdom. And that's what our people don't understand. This is this man's kingdom, man. All right? This is his kingdom. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. You know? This is his kingdom. So why is he going to, uh, um, you know, stoop down to your level and appease and appease you? Okay? You don't realize that that that, that this man, this this is his kingdom. All right? It's not a, a, a your kingdom, man. It's not your kingdom. And you want to uh, think 
you see, that's what our people want, you know? That's what our people want. They want comfortable oppression, okay? That's what our people want. Comfortable oppression, all right? But we're with uh, real rulership, you're gonna come out here and, and follow the law, statutes, commandments, and, and please the Lord, all right? Yahweh Bashim outside, okay? All right, and if a house be divided against itself, the house cannot stand. And if Satan rise against himself and be divided, he cannot stand. But what happened then? All right. So, who's the physical counterpart of uh, Satan on this earth? That's Esau Edom, the wicked that the Bible tells you about. Malachi 1, the wicked, okay? He is the wicked on earth that you see uh, uh, walking around here, man. That's the wicked, okay? Scoot this back a little bit. All right, that's the that's the wicked. But uh, our people choose to join hands with them. You're like, <laughs> not all white people is bad. You're right. You're right. Because you have some of our people, which is the speckled bird, that look like them, but actually uh, Jacob. All right, they're the seed of the righteous. But um, if they ain't in this truth, they ain't following law, statutes, commandments. Hey, they still going to get it, man. They still going to be destroyed. But, um, crap. But, um, our, our people choose to hold hands with the wicked and, 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 um, think that you can save everybody. All right? You, you can't save everybody, man. The Lord is only coming back for a remnant. Okay? You have all the dust down here. But sprinkled throughout the world, throughout the four corners of the earth, you have that that gold, okay, that fine precious gold that's standing up for you. How about some outside that's not playing no games with them, okay? But everybody else, all right, they 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 choose they choose wickedness over righteousness, okay? They choose wickedness over righteousness, and uh, uh, since you chose that, the Lord has has no use for you, man. All right. So uh, back to Matthew 24, 6. I'm going to just go ahead and read that again. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay, all these things must come to pass. End is not yet. And we can clearly see that right before our eyes, man. And that uh, dude, not even going to call a brother, the dude uh, uh, that... Uh, um, that was in the truth, so-called in the truth, all right? Jump right back into Islam, all right? He, he, didn't, he didn't have the oil, okay? He didn't have the oil, all right? Verse seven. <coughs> For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. And we clearly seeing that now. Okay, you go to the storehouses, all right? And, and uh, um, Second Ezra 6, I believe, storehouse is being empty. All right, because you go out to the store and uh, um, they're not as filled. You go out to some of these uh, restaurants, they have a limited menu. Okay, all right, those are the storehouses not being filled anymore. Okay, but but you know, Jake don't want to listen, Jake don't want to take heed. You know, he'd rather go out there and write instead of uh, um, hearing how he can be saved. Instead of hearing how how the Lord can bring them out out of this uh, new Egypt and bring them into a, a, the kingdom, all right, where where you have true rulership, okay? They don't want to hear that, man. You know, they don't want to hear that you have to wait upon the Lord, okay? It's talking to a uh, one of my old co-workers, all right. I told him about the truth because um, he's up there in Chicago now. And, um, you know, I tell him about the truth and all that stuff. And he was like, I still believe in humanity and, and is like, you know, the one true, uh, uh, I'm trying to put it how you phrase it. I still believe in humanity. And even though, you know, there might be a, you know, I'm paraphrasing, even though there might be a, a one people above all people or something like that, but. You know, 
you know, what what you preaching is not gonna work. Pretty much, pretty much explaining, you know, in a nutshell what he was saying. Okay, you believing in humanity is gonna be your downfall, man. Cause humanity is gonna fail you. Okay? Humanity is gonna fail you. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get that Jeremiah 17 and 5, okay? Thus saith Yahweh, cursed be the man that trusts in man. Okay, you believing in humanity that we all gonna to come together. That's not gonna that's not gonna happen. What happened in the Tower of Babel? Alright? All them nations came together trying to be together and the Lord clearly showed you that he's that he's a, a separatist man he, he's not about that man so you believe in uh, in humanity hey let's read it again Jeremiah 17 to 5 thus saith Yahweh cursed be the man that trusteth in man and make flesh his arm and whose heart departed from the Lord and it clearly shows that your heart depart from the Lord alright your heart departs from the Lord you don't want to listen to this truth Hey, when that time of trouble happens, and, and that's when you're going to get down on your knees and start praying to the Lord, hey, the Lord ain't going to be hearing you, man, because you rejected knowledge, all right? You rejected this knowledge, man. And let's see what's going to happen to you. Verse 6, for he shall be like the heath in the desert and shall not see when good cometh, okay? You're not going to see when the good comes, all right? What's, what's that good when it comes, all right? That salvation from the chariots or, or that spiritual power or when brothers getting fed out here and you out here starving and when uh, um, these other nations breaking into your household and uh, 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 stealing all your goods spoiling you, okay taking everything that you have okay hey these Edomites is freak too you know they, they freaky man they probably uh, um do what they did in slavery. Turn you around and, and start bucking, man. All right. So that's why we fear the Lord, cause we ain't trying to have that had that mess happen to us, man. We want the covering of Yahweh Bashim outside in, our, in, in, in these last days, especially in these last days, man. So all praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh Bashim outside, cause we ain't trying to get jacked up like you other people for rejecting this knowledge. Okay. Y'all reject this knowledge and the Lord is going to reject you. Okay? So it is what it is. Alright? It's just cool. Alright? So, you know, us having a, a fear of the Lord, that's, what, that's why we come out here and preach this word, man. Alright? Because we trust in the Lord. And, and we're going to wait upon the Lord. Okay? But, um... They, they they don't want to do that, man. Matter of fact, let's get um verse seven. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord Yahweh from outside. Okay, you say blessed when you trust in the Lord. You're not gonna trust in humanity. You're not gonna trust in this man's system. Okay, because the system that that you see right before you is it, gonna be broken down. The city of confusion gonna be broken down. That's uh, Isaiah 24, okay? And um, and we try, to, we try not to be uh, partakers in that, man. You know, being all confused. All right, what, what's another uh, uh, confusion, man? Are people calling themselves of color? All right, that's, that's a huge confusion. Huge confusion, okay? Huge confusion. All right, people not knowing your nationality, not knowing who you are, man. That's huge confusion. People coming out there and uh, thinking that they're gonna uh, um, have a, um, how should I put it, have um, comfortable oppression, okay? Thinking that they're gonna have comfortable oppression. You join the hands, y'all being together, one people, one nation, and thinking that's gonna work. No, man. Lord's about balance, man. So we gotta have one people over the another, okay? Kingdoms, when you look back, kingdoms are taken by force, okay? They're not taken by holding hands. No, kingdoms are taken by force. And guess what? When the Lord puts that spiritual power on his men, when the Lord comes back with his glory and, and his angels, man, 
this place is gonna be taken by force, man. And we can't wait for that, man. Right? But, but everybody else, you know, they don't have patience. You know, having patience shows that you're a true, true servant of the Lord, showing that you're a true, uh, uh, yeah, a true servant of the Lord, okay? Blessed is a man that trusted in, in Yahweh by Sima Asai, who hope the Lord is, okay? Our hope is the Lord's, all right? For he shall be a tree planted by the waters. Okay, you're going to be fed in these last days, man. While everybody else out here rioting, looting, all right? You're going to be fed in these last days. You're going to be taken care of. Lord got your back, okay? Lord got your back. And that spread it out her roots by the river and shall not see when the heat cometh. For her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in a year of drought. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Okay? And it said, being, not being careful in the year of drought. You hear that, man? You know, not drinking, you know, trying to uh, see how to put this. Uh -oh. You know, when it's out here, it's not raining as much. You know, you're still going to be filled, okay? So when there's not much food out here, when that famine comes, that drought comes, the Lord's, the Lord's people, they're going to be taken care of, man. The Lord's people, they're going to be taken care of. And why? Because you trust in the Lord. Why? Because you came out here and did that which was pleasing in the Lord's eyes, man. Okay, you wasn't like those people that uh, saw the prophets, that saw the apostles and elders, and just walked by, but you you took the time out of your life, you know, whether if you saw them in person, or the other prophets in person, or whether you uh, saw them on the uh, internet, hey, you took heed to the word, you didn't tarry. Matter of fact, let's get that. All right, you didn't tarry. Sirach 5 and 7, make no tarry to turn to the Lord Yahweh by Shema side. All right? You know, if you did tarry, the Lord still had mercy upon you, and, and that was just your uh, lot. You know, the man's goings is of the Lord, but hey, we coming into the time where, hey, this ain't no time to tarry. Get this word while you can, okay? Because uh, we living in the time where... Um, uh, uh, people get get offended very very easy you see the videos on YouTube they being taken down you know the videos that uh, expose this man Esau Edom for who he is those videos being taken down uh, uh, one of my past channels being taken down okay get this word while you can you know I, I, I ain't gonna lie I was a little heated when my uh, um, when my backup channels was taken down but um it is what it is man it is what it is. Okay? You know, we understand that this is the walk, and, and that's what you have to do. That's what you have to do, man. Just keep on pushing, man. Keep on pushing. Are you going to be like everybody else? You know, get mad and, and fold and, and get out the truth? Because, yeah, I ain't going to lie, man. It's, it's hard work. It's hard work to get your subscribers up, man. It's hard work. You know, subscribers don't really, really tell every, the whole story, but, you know, you know, more people watching it, you know, it gets out the word more. So, yeah, it, it takes time, man. Constantly keep you, getting your channels taken down. You know, people making uh, false claims or whatever, man. Or YouTube just doing that just because they can. All right? But they're going to be destroyed for that. You know, bearing false witness and all that stuff, man. You know, uh, uh, one of the reasons why my past channel got taken down because it said uh, I promoted using drugs. I was like, I was clearly, clearly rebuking, rebuking that a uh, uh, dude in Israel that was saying that you can use DMT and, and magic mushrooms and, and all these uh, um other things. I was clearly rebuking that. Clearly re rebuking that. Okay? Because that's not our power. The dude was saying uh, as, as 
It's our power source. No, the Lord, Yahweh Shemal is our power source. Calling upon the Lord, all right? Calling upon the Lord in the, in the time of trouble, that's, that's our power source, man, okay? Because the name of the Lord is, is a strong tower and the righteous runneth into it, okay? But um, trying to figure out where this went to. But you know, it's it's uh, it's all good, man. You know, it is what it is. Okay, it is it is what it is, man. Just gotta keep on pushing, keep on pushing the word, man. You know, keep on pushing the word. All right, Ecclesiastes. <coughs> Five and seven, make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Messiah, come forth, and in thy security, okay, you thinking that you good? In thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Okay? When this man Esau eat him, he's gearing up because he knows that he has but a short time to rule this earth. Alright? He's clearly gonna be taking you out. You saw Edom ain't gonna be playing with you niggas, man. Hey, even your own people, you know, since we under curses. And when that food supply get low, cause you got some of these agents breaking stuff, robbing stuff, and then you got some some of our people following after them. Hey, you you breaking into them storehouses like they broke into this uh, storehouse uh, down here, uh, Kroger's. You know they broke into that storehouse. You know, that's that's gonna cause a famine. I can see that. That's that's gonna cause a famine. Cause it takes time and money, you gotta rebuild the glass and all that stuff. Stock up. You know, that's that's gonna cause a famine. But our people don't see that, man. They don't have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. All right? But it is what it is, man. You know, us over here, you know, we're gonna choose to praise the Lord, we're gonna follow the Lord. To the end, man. All right. One reason why, because we uh, care about our children too. You know, look at all these Jakes with children, man. Y'all not being in truth, man. Hey. You know, the Lord says He's gonna forget your children, man. You've got His law. You gonna for He's gonna forget your children, man. And, and that's scary, man. Because uh, uh, children, hey, children take time to raise. You know, you, you love them with all your heart. See, Watch them grow up just to see them get destroyed, man. You, you don't want that, man. So that's why we in this truth as well. So Lord willing, we, we see our children be saved in these last days as well. You know, be part of the lake. Okay? That's what we want. Get some more scriptures. Acts three nineteen. Repent ye therefore, okay? Cause you got these people saying, "Wake up, wake up, man, wake up, wake up," and then what? Repent. That's what we telling you. Repent. Come back to the Lord. Follow the law, statutes, commandments. Ye out by outside. Okay, because this thing that we in it is not a game, man. This man Esau, you know, he, he's coming down with great wrath. All right, repent, that your sins may be blotted out. Okay, the Lord would uh, abundantly pardon your sins, man. But you got to humble yourself. All right, and stop thinking that that rioting. Is going to uh, uh, um, do something. No, that's, that's just going to have an excuse for Esau Edom to come down with his draconian laws and come down with a, a more and more wrath. Okay? That's what's going to happen. Acts 319, repent ye therefore and be converted. Be converted to this truth. Converted to your heritage. Stop calling yourself black, Latino, Native American, man. You got a, a biblical nationality that the Lord gave you. Okay? That your sins may be blotted out, and when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. 
okay? That way you're, you're exempt, okay? Your sins were blotted out, you're exempt, and you get beamed up in them chariots, all right? But, um, you know, our, our people rather listen to these false prophets. Our, our people rather listen to these uh, uh, people that's on the microphones out there preaching Black Lives Matter. Our people rather listen to those people, man, instead of listening to the true men of the Lord, man. So because you trust in, in man, you're going to be jacked up, okay? Trust in man, you're going to be jacked up. Cause you ain't repenting. Got these uh people saying, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up and repent, man. Wake up and follow the Lord. Cause this thing that we in is, is not a game. We get verse 23. And shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear the prophet. Cause you closing your ears, you closing your eyes. You thinking that's uh, uh, your way of truth is the right way shall be destroyed from among the people. All right, you're going to be destroyed from among the people. You're going to be made an example, all right? While the rest of, uh, of Israel, the elect, the 144,000 in the lake, get beamed up in them chariots. Hey, we're going to see y'all, you know, we're going to see the reward of the wicked. You know, y'all eating that nuclear missile, man. This whole place, Babylon the Great, being destroyed right before our eyes, man. All right? All right, so let's get um, let's get Isaiah fifty-five and six. Seek ye the Lord, Yah by Shemasa. Wow, okay, wow, he may be found. Call ye upon him, wow, he is near, because the doors of mercy is closing, and we can clearly see that. Our eyes are clearly open, and we can see the doors of mercy clearly closing. But the two-thirds, hey, hey, they want to do their own thing. They don't care. So that's why they're going to get jacked up, man. Let the wicked forsake his way. Because some of us, you know, well, really all of us, before we came into the truth, hey, we were wicked. You know, we probably committed some sins unto death. Yeah. I mean, even cooking on a Sabbath. All right? Even cooking on a Sabbath, that's a, that's a sin unto death. But check this, let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh by Shemasai, and he, he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Okay, he will abundantly pardon your sins. Okay, our past sins, you know, pray that the Lord blots out your sins. Your sins now. And your sins in your past life because we understand regeneration okay we understand regeneration over here and um you know you you don't know what sins you you committed in your past life so you know that's why it's imperative you know pray for your your sins now and your sins in your past life to be blotted out and to follow in the straight and narrow okay because everybody else ain't gonna follow in the straight and narrow you know you got jake over there man you know, I'm right here. You know, they listening to they, to they rap music. But um, they rather do that instead of listen to the prophets, man. Okay? And that's why they're going to be jacked up in these last days. Okay? Uh, Salakia. All right, Salakia. I had to make more room for my camera. It, uh... Alright, alright. So let's get back into it. Um get Isaiah 55 again, 55 and 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord Yahweh by Shemasai and he will have mercy upon him and to our power he will abundantly pardon. Okay? So after you wake up, you got to repent. 
Mm. And you got to follow the Lord. And you got to endure to the end. Okay? And pray that the Lord keeps that Holy Spirit upon you. Because you can be like that dude that was in the truth. And he can run to Islam. Okay? And, um, hey, that's, that's, that's not what we want, man. All right? We want to uh, uh, go through this thing through and through, man. You know, when you read through the Bible, man, it says overcome, overcome. He that overcome. He that keeps the saying of this book, of these prophecies. You know? He's not saying, you know, people be uh, in these Christian churches and be like, I'm saved. No, you, you are not saved, man. You got to overcome. Okay? You got to overcome. All right? In that Christian bull, bull crap, man. Saying that you saved, no, nobody here is saved unless you're an elect member in the heavens. Okay, then you, you know, you're in heavens, man. You're already saved, man. You're just waiting for the kingdom of heaven to be ushered in. But everybody else is down here, if you you screaming that you saved, hey, you, you better go read the Bible for yourself, man. You better go read. Okay. You better go read. Matter of fact, I had to go back to Matthew 24. Hmm. Matthew 24, um, verse 8. All these are the beginnings of sorrow. Okay, because the beginnings of sorrow is coming. Hey, it's practically here, man. It's practically here. Beginnings of sorrow. All right, because what's next, man? The persecution of the prophets. Them really, really hating the prophets instead of them. You know, you, you see the people, man. We've been out here protesting, man. We, we're spiritual protesters. We've been out here protesting. But you see all people out there, man. You see them out there. They chose their own ways instead of choosing the Lord's ways, man. So that's why they're going to get jacked up, man. You know, they chose a murderer over Yahweh Shah, so it's no different, man. Those are just the same spirits coming back to get their judgment. All right? Same spirits coming back to get their judgment, man. All right? And we just pray to the Lord, Yahweh Shah, that he keeps us in the way of truth, man, because these days are coming, man. Okay? Verse 9. <coughs> then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. Okay, some brothers is going to be martyrs in this truth. We don't know who, but some brothers is going to be martyrs for this truth. Yahweh Shah was a martyr for the truth. Okay? We're not going to worship this beast in his image. Okay? So brothers, some brothers are going to have to die for the truth. Some are not going to die for this truth, but hey, we, we don't know the Lord's uh, uh the Lord's uh plan. We don't know his uh, uh playbook for us, as we should say. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake, okay? Because the true prophets, the true man of the Lord, are hated for the Lord's name's sake. Because uh, uh, you know, we get on brothers, man. You know, we we rebuke brothers. And the rebuke is out of love, okay? And, and our people don't see that because they too effeminate, man. They too soft, okay? When, when you get on them, they act like it's hate. It's not hate, man. You know, when we tell tell you that these uh, other camps are preaching that uh, Edomites can be saved, hey, you going off. If you listening to those camps, you going off, man, okay? So we just telling you go through the straight and narrow because it's only going to be few that's going to go through the straight and narrow. Few that's going to find it. Out of all the dust, it's only a, a little speck of gold that's going to be uh, uh, gathered up and saved. Okay? All right? Give me one second. This is uh, John 15 and 18, and I'm gonna go through verse 20. 
okay? If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you, okay? Because men chose darkness rather than light. Because this is the light, whether you believe it or not. You know? If you were of the world, the world will love his own. But we're not of the world, okay? But because ye are not of the world, but I've chosen you out of the world. He chosen you out of the world. Before you was formed in the belly, he sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations, man. Okay? If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, I have chosen you out of the world. Okay? We don't follow the ways of the world. We don't trust in man. Okay? We don't follow a multitude to do evil. Okay? Therefore, the world hateth you. Okay? Our own people. These other nations hate us. But it's all good, man. Yahweh Shah was hated. You look at his walk. People always coming against him, asking questions, trying to uh, scoff against him. Trying to say he's not the uh, son, of, son of the Lord, man. Trying to catch him, you know, slipping, man. Hey, hey. But the Lord was wise, man. And that's how we supposed to be. All right, we're kings, wise kings, man. Wise kings, okay? The wisest people on this earth, whether you believe it or not, we are the wisest people on this earth, okay? But I've chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Remember the word that I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, okay? The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have per persecuted me, they will also they will also persecute Slakia. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Okay? But don't keep the word saying. Alright? The Lord was persecuted, the Lord was thrown in prison. And um, you know, that's why it says in uh, Revelation. <coughs> Excuse me, voice going out. Revelation 2 and 10, you know, some of the brothers are going to be thrown into prison. All right? But you got to starve into this truth unto death. And some brothers may make it out. <coughs> and some brothers may have to die for, for the truth, man. Okay? Actually, I'm going to get, um, I'm going to come back to this. Let me get, um, Amos 5 and 10, okay? They hate him that rebuketh in the gate and abhorred him that speaketh of rightly, okay? Why? Because this truth is not a, a, a for everybody. So this truth is for him, okay? He's only chosen a few to get this true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But everybody else, you know, they, since men love darkness, they, uh, 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 instead of following the Lord, instead of waiting upon the Lord, they, they follow in their own path that seems right to them. Okay. Let me get, um, let me get, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and get that. John 3, 19. Okay. And this is the condemnation that the light is coming to the world. Okay. Believe it or not, this is the light, man. This is the truth. Okay. This is the truth. All right. This is the light that's coming into the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Okay. So that's why you see see our people not seeking the truth. You know, they see our people out there in the riots, in the uproars, and they think that's the way of truth. A hey, uh, side note. You know, I had an Edomite at work, which I believe is an Edomite. You know, because he's lame as hell and he gets on my last nerves. <laughs> oh, man. So I believe he's an Edomite uh, at work. Um, he asked me, uh, have you gone out to uh, uh, to protest out? I was like, you know, I told him straight up. I was like, nah, man, that's, that's just a waste of time. 
That's just a waste of time. And I guess hearing it from me, you know, he, you can see the look on his face, how surprised he was, man. It's like, what? You ain't going out there to the protest? What? <laughs> you know? Hey, but that clearly shows you that um, this kingdom, as you see right before us, is clearly falling because you got Esau Edom trying to rise up with us. Okay? But that way that you're trying to rise up going out there to the protest, hey, it, it, it's... You know, it's prophecy, it's prophecy, but the wise is not gonna follow a multitude to do evil. The wise is gonna follow the Lord until the end. Um, trying to think of the scripture in one second, I think. Exodus, Exodus. Okay. So this is one second. Exodus 23 in verse 2. Okay. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Okay. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many that rest judgment. Okay, thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Okay. And um, you know, like I said, the face on uh, uh my Edomite co-worker, because he uh he works across from me. And, hey man, uh, <laughs> hey, that's why I'm waiting for the kingdom of heaven, man, because you gotta suffer patiently, you gotta wait upon the Lord, man, because he uh he <laughs> He be getting on my last nerves at work, man. Okay? So that's why I be popping in my headphones. You know, because uh, he be complaining about his life, man. You know, here I am. You know, I'm like right here. You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm a cool, calm person. You know, at work. You know, I get in, get out. So I'm like at this level. But his level, man, he, he's, he's all the way up there, man. It's like, yeah. Hey getting all mad and stuff man let me tell you what my girl let me tell you like bro man no, nobody nobody don't care about that man you're not supposed to you know if you wise because it shows that he's devoid of uh that he's void of wisdom if you wise you really don't come to people that you really don't even know and tell them about your life problems man you know don't nobody want to hear your life problems bro you know, hey, the way that the world is moving, your girl is going to be the last one to worry about, man. Because you're going to have to worry about people running up into your houses, man. Okay? You thinking that this uh, protesting is going to do something? All right? You're going to have to worry about no more food, no more water, people running up into your houses. You know, that's that... Um, Second Ezra's man, you know, 16, 15, you know, you got a lot of stuff to worry about. So you over here stressing out uh, about a woman, and hey, you really gonna be stressing out in these last days, man. And especially because you're another nation and you don't have the covering of the Lord upon you, okay? So it is what it is. So us over here, we don't follow a multitude to do evil, okay? So um, back to Matthew 24, see where I was at. Matthew 24 and 10. And then shall it's like it. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Okay? And you, you see these people right now, they, they coming together. But hey, when that food shortage come, they're going to betray one another. Okay? And it is what it is. Okay? And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. You know, uh, one that I'm thinking of 
you know, you got this uh, lady on the uh, Black Black Lives Matter, you know, they rather listen to her than to listen to the prophets. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Okay? You even got uh, the false ones in Israel, but, you know, it is what it is. Verse 12. Because iniquity shall abound and love of many shall wax cold. Ooh. All right? Verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So he that endures to the end, okay, that gets through all of this. Because some brothers may have to die for the truth. Some just have to endure to the end, to the very, very last, okay, last moments before they get saved. All right? So you got these uh, Christians saying that they saved. You're not saved, man. The word says you, that you got to overcome. The word says that you got to endure to the end, okay? All right. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then the end shall come. Okay, this word has clearly, clearly, I believe, and, and we can clearly see it because we see the prophecies popping up like popcorn as it's like you, has been preached throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay, we can clearly see that. Right? We can clearly see that. And that's why we see in the end being manifest right before our eyes. That's why we're gonna see a lot of things really, really jump off, really, really pop off in these last days. But hey, the elect is waking up and the elect is not gonna be in Egypt anymore, man. Alright, our mindset is not a uh, uh, being here in Egypt anymore. Okay? We're looking for new heavens and new earth where it dwells in righteousness, man. I'm not looking in here to uh, stay here. Okay? So it is what it is, man. You know, you're either going to wake up to the truth or you're going to be left behind. Alright? With you being left behind is you getting hit by them pestilence, plagues, okay? Nuclear missile, Esau Edom running up into your home. Alright? That's, that's you going to be left behind, man. But, uh, you know, when words can't teach you, adversity will. So uh, uh, adversity for our people, you know, they're they going to have to get that adversity, man. Okay? Let's see. I'm going to jump down to verse 21. Okay? So I'm going to just go ahead and read it. For then shall be... It's like here, for then shall be great tribulation, such as such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor even nor ever shall be. Okay, because when we read in uh, Daniel 12 and uh, Jeremiah 30, all right, great tribulation, Jacob's trouble, all right, Micah the archangel, you know, it's gonna be so bad out here. Michael the Archangel has to stand up for the children of thy people. Okay? Matter of fact, let's go, let's go ahead and get those, man. Let's go ahead and get those. Daniel 12 and 1. Alright? And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people, and now shall be a time of trouble such as was never since there was a nation, even unto the same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. All right? Because everyone that's found written in the book was ordained before this world was even created. And they're going to be saved up out of here. Okay? All right? And except those days should be shortened, Matthew 24 and 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Okay? So you, when, when you listen to that, man, that's a, that's a lot of people that's going to be mowed down. Okay? Esau, Edom, you want the population, I believe, on the Georgia Godstones, if I'm not mistaken, um, 5 million or 500 million, because there's like, seven eight billion people on this planet so they want like 
500 million left to control the world. You know, that's a, that's a lot of people that's going to be mowed down. But for the elect's sake, all right, those days are being shortened, and they're going to be saved up out of here. Okay? In fact, I'm going to go ahead and um, copy this. Give me one second. Let's go to uh, Second Ezra 8. One of my favorite ones I like bringing out. Okay. It's like you're about that. Second Ezra 8. And he answered me saying, The Most High have made the world, made this world for many, but the world to come for few. So that's why you see a whole bunch of souls down here on this earth. All right? And they're just waiting for their judgment, man. Believe it or not, they're just waiting for their judgment. Come to pass from the Lord. Okay, whether you believe it or not, man. All right? I will tell thee as similar to Ezra, as when thou askest the earth, it shall say unto thee, that is given much mold wherein earthen vessels are made, but little dust that the gold cometh of, even so is the course of this present world. Okay? So all the dust is just a little extras in the movies, man. And the gold, hey, the gold is the star, star players, the star, uh, uh, the role leaders in the movie. Okay? So only the gold is going to be saved up out of here, man. Babylon, this great confusion is going to be broken down, man. And we can clearly see that it's being broken down right before our, our very eyes. All right? There be, there be many created, but few shall be saved. Only few is going to be saved up out of here. All right? So that's when you see all these people getting mowed down in the streets, man. They're taking those vaccines, trusting in uh, uh, this man, uh, taking the, mark, uh, the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Okay? Uh, these people are going to be uh, uh, mowed down by the Lord, man. Because those are those spirits that the Lord is using to uh, take these people out, man. All right? Those are them spirits that the Lord is using to take these people out. Okay? Um, let's see what else I want to get. Let's get Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah 30 and 4, and these are the words that the Lord, Yahweh Messiah, spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah, northern and southern kingdom. For thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Okay? These precepts line up very, very perfectly, man. As ye know, and whether a man doth travail with child, Wherefore, I do see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail. You hear that? As a woman in travail. Grown men, men of war. All right? As a woman in travail, and all the faces turn into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so there is none like it. It is even to the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay? The elect. The elect. Is going to be saved up out of these times of trouble, man. Why? Because the elect took heed to this message, man. The elect took heed to the truth. They stopped calling themselves black, Latinos, Native Americans, man. They woke up to their true biblical nationality. Okay? Woke up to their true biblical nationality. Alright? So while the multitude is out there doing evil, trusting in man, trusting, uh, 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 for comfortable oppression, you know. Hey, us over here, we're gonna wait patiently upon the Lord, okay? Because that's what the Lord says. Wait on Him while He rises up for the prey, okay? Let me get Baruch. Four and twenty-five, okay. It's Baruch 4 and 25. My children suffer patiently. Okay, us over here, we're going to suffer patiently, man. Me on the job, man. Had to 
hear this man cry all the time, man. You know, that's why I pop in my headphones and I keep it moving, you know. But, hey, you know, he'll go to uh, another person and he'll tell everybody on the line about the same story 55 times what it seems like, man. Okay? I have to deal with that mess. And we got to suffer patiently, you know, not being rich. You know, I have to go to work. What else? You know, have to worry about your children going outside. You know, got to constantly keep watching your children, you know. But in the kingdom of heaven, hey, you ain't got to worry about your children, man. Hey, you may even be able to leave them for a whole year. <laughs> Imagine that, man. Be able to leave your children for a whole year in the kingdom of heaven. And, and they still be all good. But you can't do that here, man. You know? First and foremost, we don't have spiritual power. And uh, this, this, is a, this is a wicked ass kingdom, man. Grown ass man preying on uh, uh, um, little children. Okay? Like that, um, that uh, jo Jeff, or whatever his name, man. Epstein, Jeffrey Epstein, whatever his name. Having that uh, list of people that, um, that uh, boarded his planes or his fights to have all these uh, uh, bleed their ways with little children or, or orgies and all that stuff. Man, this place is wicked as hell, man. You've seen that list. Well, I posted it up a little bit on one of my past uh, uh, lessons. You know, you have Will Smith, you know, that Iron Man in there, you know. So we, we over here, we, we got to suffer patiently, wait upon the Lord, man. You know, sigh and cry because uh, uh, this place is wicked. So Baruch 4 and 25, my children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from power. Okay, because this wrath has come upon you from the Lord. Okay. For thy enemies have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Okay? So the elect, man, they're going to wait patiently upon the Lord. Okay? Because the Lord is going to give them that spiritual power, that power to take down this kingdom. All right? Not you rising up and thinking that you're going to do something. Because this man, he, he got an a, a army, man. He got an organized army. All right? But the Lord, you know, he's going to raise up his true army, man. I guess his people, man. He's gonna give them true tribulation, all right? Forgive you tribulation. But first and foremost, you gotta turn to the Lord, man, okay? Matter of fact, this is Psalms 149 and five. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of power be in their mouths and the two-edged sword in their hands okay the praises of the lord is in our mouths now but hey especially in those days man it's, it's really going to be there okay seeing a multitude of people they uh stopping by but you know it is what it is y'all either gonna come up take heed to the word or, or get left behind man okay Right. Two edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon the heathens. Vengeance, okay? Give them tribulation since they gave us tribulation, okay? All right. To execute vengeance upon the heathens and punishment upon the people, okay? To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. Hey, and best believe that's coming, man. And I may get it in uh, Isaiah 24. Okay, may, may go to the next. They execute upon the judgment written. This is the honor of all his saints. Praise ye, Yahweh. All right? So the saints, the elect, first and foremost, again, are going to get their spiritual power and uh hey good things happen to those who wait so you're gonna wait you know we're not ha we're not trying to have a, a 
comfortable oppression over here, man. Okay? We're not trying to have all that, man. We're trying to uh, uh, help seal the lake so we can get the heck up out of here, man. You know, we got all these other camps that's trying to wake up everybody. You know, thinking that the Lord is dealing with numbers. The Lord ain't dealing with numbers. He's only dealing with a remnant that's going to be saved. Okay? Only a remnant is going to be saved. Okay? Let's go to um, Isaiah 24. All right? Isaiah 24. So this is Isaiah 24 and 4. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languished and fadeth away. The haughty, all right, the proud looks. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Okay, who's the most proud, prideful people out here? It's Esau Edom. And you even got some of our people, man. They, they down at the bottom. They down at the bottom, but they still haughty themselves. Okay. But that proud look, that haughty look of y'all, is going to be brought down, okay? Hey, hey, and that's all praises to y'all by Shem outside for that, man, all right? The earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws and changed the ordinances and broken the everlasting covenant, okay? This place is defiled. Our people not following the laws, such as commandments. Esau, Edom not following law such as commandments you know the earth is given into the hand of the wicked all right so he's driving this place down to the ground matter of fact um come right back to isaiah 24 let me get proverbs 29 and 2 when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice okay because when we when we are in our power hey best believe the trees the trees are going to rejoice in. The trees are going to be praising. The animals are going to be praising. And even these other nations, even though, even though they're going to be in subjection, they're eventually going to get their land back and all that stuff. You know, this place is going to be a peaceful world. But uh, this man Esau Edom, his, his kingdom, man, is all about wickedness. You know, he, he's destroying the world. He's putting all the pollutants and, and all that stuff in the world, man. So he's going to be destroyed for that. You know, the animals, all the people is crying, you know, believe in the night or crying for new rulership. We're crying for the new rulership, which is next. Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. You hear that? The people mourn. Proverbs 20, 28 and 28. When the wicked rise, men hide themselves. But when they perish, the righteous increase. Okay? Because we understand that this man's kingdom is going to fall. It's going to be utterly broken down. And when we're in our kingdom, okay, when you get them new heavenly bodies, your children in the kingdom of heaven are going to get them new heavenly bodies. And we're going to increase. And more and more righteousness is going to increase in the earth. Okay? So let me get, let me go back to Isaiah 24, okay? Isaiah 24 and 4, the earth, the earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languish and fadeth away. The halted people of the earth do languish, okay? See Esau, you know, he's crying about his kingdom falling down, man. Hey, and that's, that's all praises to y'all by Shema South for that, man. Okay? The earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws and changed the ordinances and broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore, have the cursed devoured the earth and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. Okay, what's that curse? That's that uh, nuclear missile, the IS... The ICBM nuclear missile, ballistic missile that's coming, all right? 
Um, and a few men left. That's that's the gold, okay? And then you got also the other nations. That's not of the gold, all right? Verse 7, the wine, the new wine morning and the vine language. And all the merry hearted, merry, merry heart do sigh, okay? Because this kingdom is falling. This kingdom is clearly falling and it's not going to get back up. A great American dream is not here anymore, man. We can clearly see that. You know, Esau, Edom, back in the day, you know, they can go to the war, come back, be as heroes, get uh, Esau, Edom, just have one job and his wife just uh, uh, chill at home. And uh, that one job can get them uh, uh, two cars and take care of their own house. But now you're living in the time where uh, this place is falling down, man. You, you can't do that stuff anymore, man. Okay? The mirth of the tur turbids cease. The noise of them that rejoice endeth, and the joy of harp cease. All right? And we, we clearly see seeing that the Lord is, is putting a halt to everything, man. Now, uh, uh, you know, you got Jake here. You know, rejoicing that, hey, the NBA is coming back. Yay. Hey, man. It's probably going to shut right back down, man. It's probably going to shut right back down. All right? Your, your music is falling. Your, your music is fading away because it's all trash. This all good, man. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. <laughs> so we coming into that time, man. Especially when that uh, um, famine hit. All right, that wine that you have. All right, if you're not in the truth, that wine that you have is going to be bitter to you. Okay? It's going to be very, very bitter to you. You know? I have a friend in the world, you know, he went on this streak of uh, drinking, <laughs> like, seemed like almost every night or every week. And it just got to him, man. And, uh, you know, he pretty much just wasn't feeling it anymore. <laughs> you know? That's Jake trying to uh, uh, escape this world. Because this world is not your rest. You know, you got Jake over here trying to make it here, man. Micah 2 and 2, two and 10. This, this place... Go ahead and get that, man. This place ain't your rest. So why are you out here trying to make it, man? That's why I'm glad, you know, y'all by to my side woke me up to the truth, man. Because we could have been out here trying to make it in this world, man. Trying to be rich, famous. But the earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. So all that rich and fame is going to amount to nothing because this place is going to be, this place is, you know, this place is going to fade away, man. You know, Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed. thought it was a dove, Slovakia. Might be. Pretty bird. Slovakia about that. <laughs> when I was uh, younger, I grew up, uh, I had this bird book. So, uh, you know, it's a side story. When I was younger, I had this bird book that my mom bought for me. And uh, I was always into animals. So when I would read this book, I started really, really learning about what uh, what these animals were, these uh, other types of birds. And, um, you know, I would go outside and I would point it out, oh, this is this is this type of falcon. Oh, this is this type of sparrow. Oh, this is the red, uh, um, the red crested, uh, uh, bird you know i'm a little i'm a little rusty at it right now but uh i, I used to know all the birds names seem like you know because of that book you know if i you know you know uh, uh maybe one day i might get that book again but you know it's all good this truth is all you need because when you're in the kingdom of heaven hey you're gonna have that wisdom and knowledge anyways all right <laughs> all right Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it's polluted. 
it, it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. This place is polluted, man. The water is polluted. The earth is polluted, man. This ain't a place to be trying to uh, make it big. All right, even if you're in Israel, man, they trying to make it big. This place is polluted, man. We, we want our righteousness. We want our kingdom, our glory in the kingdom of heaven, okay? And only the elect is going to um, get that. Only the elect is going to see that. I'm going to get Micah 2 at the top, and then I'm going to go back to um, Isaiah 24, Lord willing. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it's power in their hands. Because the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. All right? And they love wickedness. They perpetual. And they... Slug you. They perpetuate wickedness, man. And the Lord says, woe unto... Hmm. Slug you, man. All right. Let's see uh, what else, you know, whatever, what else uh, uh, sins they have committed, and why the Lord is coming back to destroy them. And they covet fields and take them by violence. In houses, they take them away, and so they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. You hear that? So that's another reason why our heritage is gone. They took our heritage, man. They took our, 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 our identity. Okay? Verse 3. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, behold, against a family do I devise an evil, from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go ultimately, for this time is evil. Okay? The Lord is going to bring that wrath. The Lord is going to bring that, 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 uh, that uh, judgment to these people, man. All right, those are gonna bring that wrath and that judgment to these people. They took our wrath, they took our, our heritage, they took our land. You know, in this place, this world is polluted. This world is looking for new rulership. All right, so let's get uh, Isaiah 24. And nine again, they shall not drink wine with a strong slacky. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. Ooh. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man come. This is a city of confusion, Babylon. Ball, you know, confusion. Okay, city of confusion is broken down, and, and we're seeing it. We're seeing uh, uh, you go to some of these stores; they, they're all boarded up. Okay, some of these stores are, are all boarded up, man. All right, and it is what it is. You know, everything is really, really going to be boarded up. Okay, why? Because men. You know, when we read in uh, Second Ezra 15, you know, people robbing and stealing and, and breaking into each other's houses, man. Okay? The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man come in. There's a cry for wine in the streets. All the joy is darkened and the mirth of the land is gone. And, and, and we, can, we can clearly see that, man. The mirth. All right? The mirth. What's that? That's a, that's a um, let's go ahead and go look that up. All right, let's go look that up. All right, mirth, amusement, especially as an expression in laughter. All right, your joy, the joy of this land is is, is cease, it's ceasing. Okay, hey, but. You know, us in the truth, man, we, we're, we're praising y'all by Shema Shah for that, man, because, hey, this man Esau Edom's kingdom is falling, all right? In the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction to ultimately, you know, that joy, that mirth, 
right? It's gonna be hitting with that destruction, that nuclear missile, all right? That's coming, okay? So let's jump down. <clears throat> you got people smoking, man. Smoke came all the way over here. <clears throat> so let's go to Isaiah 24 and 19. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean, clean, dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. Okay, the earth is broken down. The earth is clean and dissolved. How is that going to happen? Because uh, uh, that nuclear missile, man, that nuclear missile is, when it hits this place, it, it cleans, man. You know, what are uh, good purifiers? You got water, it's a good purifier. And fire is a good purifier. Okay, that's when you see uh, uh, when a volcano erupts. Okay, because everything is, is all controlled by the Lord when that volcano erupts. All right, got the molten lava and fire. Okay, when it burns the ground, when it burns the forest, you know, it actually, uh, um, you know, it actually, um, it actually makes the ground good for planting, you know, good, good for a good harvest after the lava, you know, cools down, you know, and, and then you see uh, um, a lot of the plants spring forth, you know, and that's just, that's just the Lord's work right there, you know. So yes, fire is a good cleanser, good uh, purifier. Okay, so when that nuclear missile hit, it's cleansing this land, you know? And it's even cleansing the evil of our, our people, man. Because when they wake up back in the kingdom, they're gonna be in righteousness, okay? All right, they're gonna be in righteousness. That's how the uh, righteous is going to be increased, as we read in uh, Proverbs 28 and 28, okay? The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be moved like a cottage, and the transgressions thereof shall be heavy upon it, and shall fall and not rise again. Okay? Once again, that's that nuclear missile that's hitting this place in, in various parts of the world. It's going to make the earth move to and fro like a drunkard. Okay? Hey, we can't wait for that day, man. You know, Lord willing, you know, hey, hey, we're going to endure to the end. I'm, I'm going to just say that, man. We're going to endure to the end. All right? And I pray that the Lord keeps that spirit upon me, man. Spirit upon my brothers out there that's doing the work in truth and sincerity. Coming out here every week, week in and week out, preaching his word. And standing up for righteousness, man. All right? And not trying to stand up for, the, for this wickedness and not following a multitude to do evil. Okay? And it said, uh, shall not rise again. So this this kingdom, this rulership that you see right before us, man, is, is not going to rise again. But the saints of the Most High are going to take the kingdom and we're going to possess it forever and forever. Okay? Uh, Isaiah 24 and 22. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit. Hey, so that's that's your elites, man. Okay, because they're going to they're going to uh, escape. They're going to escape this nuclear destruction. But the Lord and the, and, and the men of the Lord, they're going to gather them up. Let's read it again. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit, and shall be and shall be shut up in the prisons, and after many days shall be. Shall they be visited? All right, you be visited to uh, uh, do that work. Because uh, another thing that we're going to need them for, <laughs> which is going to be beautiful, is for uh, uh, cleaning up dead bodies. Because in the midst of World War Three and Yahweh Shai coming back with his angels and, and his glory, man, it's going to be a lot of dead bodies, man. A lot of dead bodies. So, uh, um, Matter of fact, I may have to get that, Jeremiah. It's going to be a lot of dead bodies. And guess what? You elites, you Edomites, all right? going to be cleaning them up. 
Okay. Jeremiah 25, I believe. Jeremiah 25 and 33. Okay. And the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth. And they shall not be limited, neither gathered nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. Okay? So that's how much uh, uh, blood, bloodshed that the Lord is coming back to do. All right? That's how much bloodshed. And, and guess what? You at least got to uh, clean that up. You know, you destroy the world. You got to clean that up. Okay? So let's go back to um, Isaiah 24. Okay? Isaiah 24, uh, 21, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the hosts of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth. All right, who's the high ones? Esau, Edom, the elites. All right, Rothschilds, Oppenheimers. All right, even you other nations, all right, your kings. All right, they're going to be brought low. All right. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and shall shut up in the prisons after many days shall be visited. Okay. <laughs> getting that whooping stick, getting that beating stick, <laughs> a sword, whatever, man, spiritual power. All right. And you're going to clean up them bodies, man. And you're going to build up our kingdom. All right? Let's go to... Um, let's go to... Um, Job... Uh, let's see. No, let me record it. Let's go to Job 20. And I may close out on this. Okay? Job 20 and 23. When he is about to fill his belly, Yahabashim outside shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he's eating. Okay, while he think he got uh, uh, everybody chipped. You know, everybody, you know, because when you get chipped, you're pledging your allegiance to this man Esau Edom. And that's why the elect, okay, that's why we're praying that the Lord keeps us all right, in those days, man, keeps us now and keeps that Holy Spirit upon us that we don't take that chip, okay? Because when you take that chip, you're showing, showing that you love this man Esau Edom, showing you that you want comfortable oppression. All right, this man Esau Edom, he wants everybody slaves again, man, okay? He shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow still shall strike him through, okay? Because a lot of these Edomites, man, they they going they going to be partakers in that nuclear destruction. But a lot of these elites, they're actually going to escape the nuclear destruction, and they're going to be the first ones to be put into slavery. It is drawn, it is drawn and coming out of the body. Yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gals. Terrors are upon him. All the darkness shall be hid in the secret places, and the fire, not blown, shall consume him. All right and shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. And we clearly see that, man, his own people, Israelites, us coming out here. You got um, Anonymous exposing his wickedness, okay? Donald Trump as a pedophile or a rapist, or whatever you want to call it, man. All right, he's wicked. Elites, their their master plans being shown forth. Okay, that's that's all the Lord, that's the Lord's doing. The increase of his house shall depart, and all the goods shall flow away. In the day of his wrath, okay, the increase of his house, all right, all his riches, his glory, his might, his kingdom, all right, it's gonna pass away, all right. 
the kingdom is going to be translated into our hands. Okay? This is the portion of the wicked man from the Most High and the heritage appointed unto him by the Most High, Yahweh, by Shema side. Okay? So all that wickedness, man, all right? You thinking that you're going to rule forever and forever. Hey, your kingdom, your riches are going to be translated to Yasharala. First and foremost, Yahweh Shai. Because it's Yahweh Shai's kingdom. And by default, it's the rest of Israel's kingdom, Yasharala. 144,000 in the lake. And uh, hey, we can't wait for that day, man. All right? Can't wait for the day. You know, hopefully your brothers and sisters were edified, you know, nice, beautiful day. Chill out, you know, edit this, get this moving. But, um, hey, keep on enduring to the end. Keep on lifting up praise. Give the Lord no rest until he establishes and makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. So with that, I'm going to give all praises to and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, and Them all to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Much respect to you, brothers out there. His precincts were in the truth and sincerity. They're out the four corners of the earth. The tabernacle of David is standing tall, standing boldly for Yahweh Bashim outside. And um, the legs scattered abroad, the speckled bird. So next time, Lord willing, shall